Hi everyone, welcome back for another video. My name is Brenda Nyawara and I hope you've had a nice start to the year. As you already know, I like to talk about trending hashtags and I like to pick tweets that fall in the outlier section. Most of them are funny, you know, uplifting, la la. Some of them are opinions that have to be talked about and so I wanted to come here and talk about New Year resolutions. But before I go into that, I wanted to talk about three things first. I've seen the unrest that's going on in the US and, and it's nothing to joke about and just to get it out of the way, we are a aware of what's going on and a lot of what happens in that country affects everywhere else and so you know Kenya we're going towards an election year next year and there's no way I would want that kind of um, precedence to be the energy with which we carry ourselves Ooh, to next year so that aside uh, thing number two some time back I had talked about Jack Ma on my channel and it's because uh, you know it's some um, tweets and jokes about how when he made donations to Kenya we never received those items blah 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 and it was all fun and games but now um, the guy is missing has been reported missing for over two months and I do hope it's just him um, having a vacation somewhere off the grid and not you know what we think it could be. Thirdly um, this is something I learned uh, recently, I did a video about Nigeria versus Uganda and some part of it I had mentioned that Idi Amin, you know, past president of Uganda, I, had, I think I mentioned that he was a ruthless dictator and that's based on what the history books that I had read like when I was a kid or even there's a movie, there's a movie that I watched that really depicted him as a horrible guy, horrible leader. But turns out um, quite a number of Ugandans had come to the comment section to say that Idi Amin wasn't really a dictator. I liked the discussions and some of them even held them in my DMs talking about, you know, the history books and how it's taught differently because someone else is on teaching it. So anyway, um, let me just resign to say that sometimes you may get a different version of history depending on who's telling it and it's good to go back and, you know, learn the truth. So so I'm grateful to the commentators who actually came and said, hey Brenda, actually this is wrong and we need you to kind of, you know, understand that this guy was actually a hero. And I like that. Hey, discussion is discussion. And feel free to interact with me in the comment section. I actually do reply. I do reply when it's something that, you know, it's tangible and we can talk about because that's all this is about. Anyway, now going back to the video for today. I chose this topic because I felt like we are now a week into January and most guys had or those who had <laughs> those who had New Year resolutions, I hope they are still keeping up with them. Um, most of us have kind of left them along the way by the first week and I hope that's not true because we need to go all out in 2021. Anyway, just look at the ones I chose for today. Dr. Keisha says, one of my new year resolutions was to limit drinking to weekends. I made it to Wednesday. <laughs> and I'm happy that at least you made it. <laughs> those are three days. Whiskey Reef says, so how are those new year resolutions coming along? 1st of January, he's at the gym pumping dumbbells. And 5th of January, he's already um, at the beach with, <laughs> with a bottle of alcohol, you know, soft life. Do you? I think after the year we had last year, you have every right to enjoy this year. Just don't undo what you've done over the years. The youth says, is it just me or I didn't see anybody talk about my new year resolution? And I'll say this, yes, most people did not really go out and talk about their goals for this year because you know, last year we had everything set out for this perfect year and then boops, everything locked down, shut down, yeah, it's really discouraging and so when you want to actually put out your goals, you're kind of holding them back because you're not sure what's going to happen this year and I hope we can still put them out and pray towards them and hope they come through. Bayonet Warrior says, I completed my New Year resolution of 2010 and he's posting this in 2021. I feel you and I believe you because yes, it's good to go back also and look at last year's and see what you didn't accomplish and kind of try to accomplish it this year. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. There's no time limit. The time limit is your lifetime, really. As Daniel says, my number one resolution is to be faithful to my wife alone. No more messing around with other ladies. Dude, I applaud you and at the same time I'm shocked because huh, you would actually post this so your wife would know that you are actually messing around last year. <laughs> Men are funny. Hannah says, I forgot my new year resolution, bruh. 
I feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easy to forget. Kona Habib says the UK and the US both made New Year's resolutions not to be afraid to be who I really am. And I'll say this is so true because we have seen their true colors right from Brexit and the US election because what has been happening on the streets and on Twitter and people's opinions really shows you that, yeah... Those countries are just like us when it comes to elections, when it comes to political views. They, they, they also riot. It's funny. You would think that there's some better way of handling elections in some advanced countries, but hey, here we are. So Michelle says, my New Year's resolution not to commit a coup is still going strong. Don't know about some other people. Uh, my assumption is that Michelle is from the US and she is talking about what's going on and how the Democrats, sorry, Republicans are kind of riot, oop, not rioting, protesting. Zoo's Victoria posted a photo of a monkey smiling saying, when you've already given up on your New Year's resolution, it's like, <laughs> well, we try again next week. Honestly, you don't have to do it on the 1st of January. Uh, try on the 13th, 14th, 15th. In fact, I heard that the 12th of January is actually the quitter's day because that's when most guys, um, by the time it's 12th of January, they've already forgotten everything they had set out to do and let this not be you. At least try to push it. <laughs> Kelly who says, does anyone make New Year resolutions anymore? Mine was always the same. Lose weight, exercise more, don't be late. Literally the same since my teens. Um, hmm. I don't think it's bad to say every year that you want to be, that you want to exercise more, eat healthy. I think it's good. And those resolutions can still uphold next year if it's something that's positive for you. You know, Darihana says, due to personal reasons, I will build my best body this year at the gym. Signed, management. Me too, sis. Me too. Uh, Rocky Road says, due to personal reasons, I will be getting more fine this year. Yes. Nothing less. Yasmin says, due to personal reasons, I will not be turning 18 this fall. I will actually be regressing back to the age of 16. Thank you all for your cooperation. <laughs> this is the good. And then there's one here. Afrozilla says, due to personal reasons, I am relocating to where the money resides. Where the money resides, where the money resides. <laughs> I love that game. <laughs> that is it for me. Like, that's top notch. Anyway, what are your new year resolutions? Have you maintained them this first week of January? And are you planning to keep up with them? All the very best. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. -bye.